I may have had a sip of mulled wine, but it's elixmas time. Let's see what happens. Welcome to Lixmas Day 6. Today's lick comes from Trey Wellington. I've known Trey for over three years. We're old friends at this point. We met at the Swananoa Gathering. Uh, he's a fantastic player and great guy, and he has a new EP out called Uncaged Thoughts. I recommend that you check out, as well as him playing this uh, this lick of his probably the correct way. There's a link in the description. Uh, but for now, here's my interpretation. Lick, it's practically an A part. Um, and it's a great lick, though. A hard lick to play, but totally worth mastering. Uh, I have not mastered it, but I'm going to try. Uh, this is I'm going to play it over Shuck in the Corn to give an example. I think the lick works really well over uh, any tunes that you have uh, extended phrases, extended bars of G. Because uh, it sort of explores some of these modal sounds in G. It's a little bit risky to use under fast chord changes. So here's a lick by itself. <laughs> Here it is at a moderate tempo. And fast. And here is Shuck in the Corn with the lick implemented. One, two, three. You know, it works whenever, after the C7 chord, um, when, when you have those long phrases of G. So it's a great lick, um, definitely, definitely worth getting, getting down, and have fun with it, uh, more than anything. Have a very nice sixth day of the 12 days of Lixmas. We'll see you on day seven. Merry Lixmas.